Morning, and we're back at your walk, which is on a lovely sunny Wednesday morning. Now, we're going to look at three or four items we've got in what they call dead row, which are items that don't run, or they're accident damaged, they are insurance write-offs, or, um, or just plain um, end of life almost. So we're going to go through a look at three or four items, and then we're going to put at the end of the video what they made at auction. So um, we're going to start with this one. It's been a bit warm. A Landini. 6130C four wheel drive tractor. Um, she's quite heavily burnt and uh, very hard to put a value on it, really. Obviously, the cab's missing, um, so I'm guessing here you literally are buying it for parts of the actual engine, the gearbox, and the front axle. Um, heavily burnt. Um, I'm sure it could tell a story if it could, but uh, we'll have a look and. Um, so it makes very shortly, but there's loads of items here in Dead Row and everything you can think of, whether it's a forklift, um, loading shovel, lorries, telehandlers, um, huge range and it seems to make good money. Right, let's go and find some more items. A Cat 315 excavator, just missing its undercarriage. So if you've been lucky enough at a previous sale to buy an undercarriage, you could have a machine. Um, I think some of these in the past have been barge mounted and um, for dredging work. Um, could be, what if machine is under carriage? I don't know. Again, every item here can tell a story. Eric wants a quad bike. You haven't got, you haven't got Eric yet? Eric's here with a book. Yeah, he wants a quad bike. He's always wanted one, but... What book? No, a quad oh, bike. Quad bike. <laughs> well, that could be a restoration product for Eric, couldn't it? What do you think, Eric? Maybe. A restoration product. Or just get, or just get a new one. Like that could work. You know we like JCB. Here is a JCB 410 loading shovel with its very own garden box, window box at the front. Um, not quite sure why it's here. Um, what's interesting about it, it's actually on very, very small wheels. Uh, they are obviously rubber solids. Um, so my guess would be it's probably for a waste recycling centre or something like that, but I don't really see them with wheels that small. But anyway, the good thing is here, if you need parts to get it going, there's another one. Obviously that one's an ex-army from a previous life. If you need to, you're in luck. Right, well, while exploring 80 acres of Euro auctions, we've come across this beast a dumper conversion to a forklift. Now, when I was very small, we used to see some of these actually made um, for real. And the, I think the military also made a beaver, which was very similar. But someone's done a conversion on this, and they've done a really, really good job. Hydraulic tilt, yeah, we, first of all, you can see it was a dumper, because there's, the, there's the tipping points for the bodge. But someone's done a really good job. Mast, hydraulic tilt, probably spoiled block there for the controls. I mean, I've no idea how old this is, but this could easily be 40 years old. Twin cylinder engine, but it's usually quite cool. They've even on the back of it mounted two rows of 56 pound weight to the counterbalance. So I also imagine when this was new, this was probably hand start. I could be wrong if it answers blow if you know any different, but what a beast! What a beast, something different. What a very low cost forklift. So we'll see what it makes when it goes through the auction. If you've got any ideas first, put them in the box below and we'll see who got right. You don't think that's Tim arriving, do you? I can't see it very well on the picture. Not only is the pieces of equipment here worth hundreds of thousands of pounds, there are some true classics as well. Lot number 500, 5,461 is a Spent mixage, spent mixer of some vintage. Single cinder, Lister engine. Hand start. What a beauty. What I will add, this is not one that's been through the GCS workshops. Okay, so we don't want any confusion there that's been through GCS workshops, but. Uh, and it's not likely to go through, like to go through there. But in some foreign country, they'll love it. They'll love it. So 
I'd be surprised if it sells at all. This is an unreserved auction, mm. everything will sell. Mm. Now when I was a little boy, sort of, I don't know, five, six, seven, I had a toy Thwaites dumper. And it was one of these, one of these. So we found another one today at Euro Auctions in Dead Row. Um, I'm not gonna buy it, I'm not gonna buy it. But um, when you look at the scale, how construction has changed from a probably a 750 kilo um, dumper. I believe the hand, this one's actually hydraulic tip, but um, when I was a little boy, they used to be hand tip. But just look at this difference in size today between this and a, a normal site dumper. Um, either labour was a lot cheaper then, I don't know. But it's great to see it. I don't know how you get off it these days. I need to lose some weight before anybody else says it. But what an awesome little dumper. Um, even when I went to college at 17, we took one apart um, at college. I was going to say, did you drive there? We never actually got back together again, but um, what a great little find. I don't want it, but what a great little find. But it'd uh, be interesting to see what it makes at the auction, but awesome. And it's only two wheel drive, by the way, only two wheel drive. So as a kid, this is what a proper dumper was. This was it. So cracking little thing. and. Um, We'll see what it sells for shortly. So, and here's the starting handle. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna start it, but that was how you started them in those days. Here's a seven ton dumper of today. And a one ton dumper. There you go, three sizes of dumper. And I actually suspect in pro rata, the little one at the front is probably still worth today more than it cost when it was brand new. A very, very early mini digger. Very early, before we had servo controls, you had to put your arms out the front and use them. So, look at that. Very early. And metal tracks, all the early ones had metal tracks, rubber tracks weren't invented those days. Eric likes this non-running Mule, blue. I like the sheep mule, but this would work. It'd be cheap to run, wouldn't it? So yeah, if we get you get busy in the workshops, you two could own something like this very soon. If you'd like a bigger project, Eric, something more to work on, here is the um, Merlot starter kit for telehandler. It's just the body kit. Absolutely, starter kit. You have to start somewhere. You still have to pay like the full price of another one. I don't see you using your imagination here and you're looking at the negatives. You need to look at the positives on such a thing, Eric. Thank you for watching our video on the dead row at Euro Auctions. Um, dead row is a lot smaller this time than it was last month. Still some interesting items here and some um, memory reminders of, of things gone past. So thanks for watching. Please click in the boxes um, below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Absolutely free, but it really does help, help us out. So thanks for watching and um, we'll see you again in the next video.